Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to a brand new Game of the Week brought to you by Fulton County Schools TV. This week, the Westlake Lions are facing off against the East Coweta Indians and this game was a flat out war. So fasten your seatbelt folks and get ready for some great football. The Indians didn't waste any time getting this one going. In the first two minutes of the game, they put their first points on the board thanks to a touchdown by quarterback Chris Reed. Reed decided to run a quarterback keeper and took the ball from the 21-yard line straight to the end zone after finding an opening in the defense. Not too long after that, it was first and 10 Westlake when a pass intended for A.J. Terrell was intercepted by Jonah Stearman, who scored the Indians' second touchdown in the span of 15 seconds. And then with a 14-point lead, the Indians lined up to kick the ball off to Westlake again, and the ball landed snugly in the hands of Trey Person right at the Lions' goal line. Person ran the ball all the way up the field as his fellow Lions kept the Indians off him, resulting in Westlake's first touchdown of the night. This brought the score to 14-6 and solidified that the fans were in for an action-packed game. Unfortunately for the Lions, their extra point attempt was blocked, but the touchdown was enough to bring a surge of confidence back to the team. Later in the first quarter, Wyatt Palmer kicked a successful field goal to bring the Indians to 17. And after a high-scoring first quarter, the action continued in the second when Lion quarterback Birch avoided a sack and proceeded to run the ball over 50 yards down the field, tripping up everyone that tried to stop him until he was knocked out of bounds at the 5-yard line. But Westlake capitalized on this and scored another touchdown courtesy of A.J. Terrell. And then with little under 8 minutes left in the half, the ball was handed off to Devontae Brown. Brown charged through the defense but was tackled and fumbled the ball, which was picked up by DeMond Geist from Westlake. This would eventually lead to Westlake scoring another touchdown. After consistently moving the ball down the field, the Lions tacked on another 6 points when A.J. Terrell found a hole in the defense and lunged into the house. With the score tied at 20 all, Chris Reed found an open man in Reggie Jones, who made a clean catch and ran the ball from the 50-yard line all the way to the end zone. After the successful extra point, this brought the Indians back into the lead with a score of 27 to 20. With a whole half left to play, this one could go either way. In the initial minutes of the third quarter, the ball is handed off to Trey Person, who instantly finds an empty pad and outruns four Indians with ease to put another touchdown in the books for the Lions. They then went for a two-point conversion, but the Indians made sure the Lions' score stayed at 26 to keep them trailing behind. And after an impressive one-handed catch from Adrian Bryan, the Lions were inches away from the goal line, but the Indians managed to stop A.J. Terrell not once, but twice from entering the end zone and putting Westlake in the lead. Finally, on fourth down, Terrell had one more shot before turning the ball over, and his teammates managed to keep the Indians off him and give him a safe path to the house. Immediately after that, Westlake went for another two-point conversion, but this time it was successful as Terrell once again ran the ball in to extend Westlake's lead to 70. But the Indians weren't going down without a fight. Devontae Ford broke through the defense and left a host of Lions in his dust to tie the game at 34. As time began to wind down, Rayvon Birch threw the ball to A.J. Terrell in the end zone, but it was swatted out of the air before he could catch it. Ultimately, Westlake had to settle for a field goal to regain the lead. And in what may have been the defensive play of the game, Westlake's Daquan Walker set the Indians back nearly 20 yards with a huge sack. And as the game came to a close, Westlake opted to take a knee and let the clock run out. And with that, the winner of this game was the Westlake Lions with a score of 37 to 34. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week for another Game of the Week, brought to you by Fulton County Schools TV.